Maths is very important in veterinary medicine and particularly in zoo medicine. Um, essentially we have to assess whether an animal is healthy or not and one way of doing that is to collect samples from the animal um, and that might include blood samples, urine samples and so on. And we measure various substances in these samples and then we have to use math to interpret whether these substances are at a normal or abnormal level using various standardised tables. In addition, just looking at the basic physiology of the animal, uh, its weight, its respiration, its heart rate, we're always counting, we're always uh, trying to determine again whether this is within a normal range, is the animal growing correctly, is it losing weight, is it not eating enough, these are all very important parts of zoo medicine which will involve math. My educational background is that I qualified as a veterinarian in the United Kingdom and I then went on into general practice followed by a master's in wild animal health which was at the London Zoo. I then worked in a zoo in the Channel Islands which is a little island between England and France and then I moved to North America. I um, flew to St. Louis and I did what was a three year residency program where I specialised in zoo medicine and then finally I moved up to the Toronto Zoo and became a staff veterinarian at the Toronto Zoo. Well essentially um, when we're looking at a sick animal we measure various um, parameters perhaps within its blood and therefore we may need to evaluate these by looking at these and comparing these with standardised normal values for that species. Uh, it's a little more difficult in zoo animals because there may not be many values to compare them against and that reduces the, uh, the power of the statistical test but it does allow us to make some interpretations. Well, at the moment we're dealing with a, a cheetah, I have its blood work here and the cheetah is a fairly elderly male cheetah and just like domestic cats as they uh, get on in their years they tend to develop some kidney issues. Uh, we've collected blood samples from this particular animal over the last month and we can see that various values within its blood, particularly the BUN and creatinine, are going up and that tends to indicate that the kidney function is deteriorating. We monitor that by comparing the values that we, we, we obtain in the blood with values that we have on a standardised sheet which has been evaluated from cheetahs throughout North America and we can compare the two and say yes indeed these values are higher than uh, the statistical normal values for a cheetah of that age and then we can start treating it appropriately and hopefully in due course, as, as the cheetah gets better, we'll be able to monitor that the blood values are going down again. Just as we use maths to evaluate the various blood work of the animals, we also use math to um, work out how much drug we need to give to an animal when we're treating it, uh, perhaps uh, if it has a particular um, sickness that we need to deal with. Um, and we can demonstrate that, Pauline's going to demonstrate that by treating some of the frogs for you. So the grenouille vient just to be euh, donc c'est un mâle, il fait 20 grammes, donc on va injecter 0,02 ml d'hormones dans son ventre. My advice is get to get as much experience as you can working in a veterinary clinic to start with and then particularly if you want to work in a zoo, also getting some experience in a zoo setting, whether that just be volunteering or working as a seasonal keeper or as a seasonal uh, member of staff in another department, just so that you get familiar with the environment that you want to work in to make sure that that's what you want to do.